Hello everyone, welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Today is Sunday, 21st of February, had to look there, 2021. So it's 2 21 It's kind of fun. Okay, anyway, it is also the 27th day of our family surprise blanket. So, if you've been here before, or if you're one of my new peoples, thank you so very, very much. I'm almost to 400. That blows my mind. Anywho, if you're new, just real quick, let me tell you what's happening. Okay, so, my family and myself, along with my sweet friend, Miss Angelia and her husband, Angelia is from Crocheting House Mouse. If you have not checked her out, I encourage you very much to do so. You will not regret it. Pinky promise. She will be linked below. Okay, so we are making scrap projects together. Um, keeping each other company, and it's been so much fun. So she started out the first part of this, and she made a scrappy shawl. Stunning. Once again, if you haven't checked her out, you could, like I've said before, you could binge watch it and just watch the whole thing come to fruition. It's beautiful. Okay, so up until the 14th, she made that shawl. On the 14th, she started another project with me because she's such a doll. She's now making a scrappy rug. I called it a blanket two times yesterday. <laughs> Drove me crazy. It's a rug, y'all. She's not making a blanket. If y'all went over there looking for a scrappy blanket, I apologize. <laughs> you didn't find one. It's a rug. Okay, so anyway... <laughs> So she's doing that with me because she's so, so sweet. So, her husband goes in her craft room and gets two scrap balls and puts them in one of her super cute little tote bags and she opens them in front of us so it's a surprise to us, it's a surprise to her. And she adds them two at a time to her scrappy rug. It is the coolest, like for real. Like I said, I need the shawl and I need that rug in my life which list items. So, okay. Anyway, so that's what she's doing. Please check her out. So, over here, my family and myself have scrap balls for Miss Kayla over at Lama Mama Kayla. You heard that right. Okay. So, every, I have a husband and three kiddos, and every day one of them has a different night. They pick a scrap ball of yarn. Whomever picks a scrap ball of yarn gets to pick our family activity for the night. And I think that's it. And I think we're all caught up. So, okay. So, last night was my baby girl's night. So, let me just show you what she picked. Because she's so cool. She picked lime green. Isn't it pretty? Okay. That's not the top. Hang on. <laughs> okay. So, here it is. This is our blanket, a pretty lime green. <laughs> it just keeps going and going. It's like the Energizer Bunny blanket. Okay, so this green is right here by this red. So it's kind of cool because it went from, I don't know where that is, where the green and the orange connected. If you've been here before, it's my Winifred Sanderson spot. So this part's green and red, so it kind of went from Halloween to Christmas. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. So it went from that pretty red that I like, which I mentioned is a little bit bulkier. I'm using my 5.5 hook through the whole thing. Slightly bulkier. It's probably a 5. You can see that or not. It's not a lot bigger, but enough that it made it kind of wonky. So in all of the regular fours, I've been doing three stitches. So this made it kind of weird, so I did two. So after that, with this green, I went back to three. Just in case anyone needed to know that. Okay, so it made it right there and went around one whole side. Almost two whole sides. Back to here, that far from the corner. To our super cute little stitch marker guy from Llama Mama Kayla. Okay. My goodness, it's getting so big, I love it. So, 
Last night, she wanted to have a Vine Marathon. Which, like I said, if I've mentioned TikTok, was kind of like the after effect of Vine. It's just little short, funny clips. So, that's what she wanted to do. Her and I are probably going to go watch some more here in a little bit. Um, and the night before that was my baby boy's night. He was wanting to watch Rocket Man. And we didn't get to watch that. But we did last night, by golly. So it's all good. So we got to watch Rocket Man. Did our thing. Um, just kind of hung out, watched movies, whatever. So, okay, uh, let's see. Tonight is my oldest's night. Let's see what he picked. What do you say? Little bastard. Oh, I didn't mention that darn heart in the middle. Remind me. I'll do that in a second. <laughs> okay. Huh? His basket. In case I don't mention it, it'll be linked below. Just so you know. Okay. Anywho. <laughs> Show you guys first. Ooh. Tis squishy. Well. Oh my goodness. I love the emerald green. I really like green. I'm learning this. Like the lime green, this pretty emerald green. This one, this still is one of my favorite ones. Like way back when, remember guys? Like back in the 1840s when we started this blanket. <laughs> and we put this guy in. That green, that is still one of my favorite ones. And I have no idea what it is. Okay, I have new people watching this. Hello new people. Thank you. If anybody knows what this is, it's this bright or not bright, that is not bright. It's an emerald pretty green with like white flecks in it. There you go, just in case anyone knows what that is. I would very much appreciate knowing because like that and like a cardigan or just a soft something, so good. I said that before, still mean it, <laughs> just saying. Okay, and I know you're all surprised. Oh, I didn't, I thought I lost my stitch marker found it. Okay. So, hang on. I'll mention that heart. <laughs> so, this pretty green. I like it. Right after this other pretty green. I like it too. That's gonna be good. Okay. Very good. It's a pretty good size, so it may go a ways. I'm already unraveling it. It's eager to be a part of our blanket, and I can't blame you. Okay. So, Back to basics, people. I, every time. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, so this art <laughs> is a tutorial here on YouTube by Miss Ophelia over at Ophelia Talks. It is called How to Crochet a Heart Granny Square. Okay, I know I mentioned this. I know several of you are making it. That is just... I can't even tell you. I let the cat out of the bag, spilled the beans on Miss Angelia. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. So yeah, anyway, pretend like that didn't happen. Just like earmuffs it and act like y'all didn't hear that. So anyway, my bad. Okay. So yeah. So thank all of you who are making it, whoever you are. All right. So that's the heart. So like I said, if you decide that you want to make one, it's so much fun. It really is. I haven't got to make, I know that, okay, I'm going to say I haven't got to make one and like pick my colors. Obviously people have been choosing them for me, which is spectacular by the way. But I know a few people are just like grabbing colors. I know a couple people have had family members. Okay. Anyway, special peoples. Anyways, I've <laughs> had family members like are going to choose their colors for them which is just I think it's so cool that it's all I don't know it's a surprise for everyone I think it's so neat okay so anywho for my son's night we picked this pretty emerald green I cannot wait I love that so he has a couple things which I'm excited for he wants to play uh, his Nintendo Switch I mentioned before we play it sometimes we can hook it up to the big TV in the living room so that's what we're going to do. He has a game where we can play Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. 
who isn't down for that? I mean, come on now, Mike Tyson. Yes, please. Mike Tyson, right? <laughs> so anyway, my husband will giggle at that one. So we're going to have, like I said, Mike Tyson punch out. Super Mario, like the Super Mario, like the original one. Y'all better watch out. Your mama can play some Super Mario Brothers. I hate to tell y'all. They already know this, but it's got to be a good one. <laughs> so I like that whenever we play the old games because, like I said, we play the new ones. And I'm like, I don't know what this is, which the Switch controller was kind of confusing last time. So fingers crossed that I can play it. Anyway, okay, so one of the things that he wanted to do a while back that is on my list of things that we need to get done that we have not done is to watch the new Sonic movie. So I told you guys before, I tried and tried to find it. I couldn't even rent it anywhere. I just had to purchase it, which is fine, but we've never seen it before. And so, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to spend that much and maybe never watch it again. So anyway, it is now, though, on Hulu. I mean, it's like Jim Carrey listens to this and new or something. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so it is now on Hulu. <clears throat> so... We're going to play a little Mike Tyson punch out, a little Super Mario on the Nintendo Switch, and we are going to watch the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Now that emerald green, could it be a better night? I mean, so that's the plan. We'll see what else happens, because I'm sure we'll do other things. Who knows? Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. Um, Real quick, though, before I just, like... Well, okay, real quick before I even do that. Please check out Miss Angelia over at Crocheting House Mouse. She is my friend. I'm blessed to call her that. She is an absolute doll. You'll love her. For those of you who have came here from there, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Okay. This, oh, also check out Miss Llama Mama Kayla. Because she's super special. Okay, so this is another headband. I talked yesterday, I think. Maybe the day before. Anyway, I think it was yesterday. About my headband. This is another one that I made, like I said. So you can make them any size. This is the coffee shop yarn in the color Kona. K-O-N-A. Yes. <laughs> to make sure I spelled that right. Okay, so on this one, same thing. I just chained 35. Made sure my chain was flat. Went in, slip stitched it. This one's a little bit different. I don't know if you guys can even see it. Um, right here is where I did like a double crochet, chain one, skip one. Okay. Then whenever I went to my next row, I chained up three. I forgot to mention that. In between each row, you're going to chain up three just like you normally would after you slip stitch it to connect your row. Chain up three so it keeps going. Okay. So after I chained up three, the next row around, I just did granny squares, like three double crochets into each stitch. So it made it look like you can kind of tell, I think. There's the granny squit, granny stitch, and then there's the chain one skip one. So it made it just kind of this different little thing. But it's like I said, you can have fun and play with them and do whatever stitches you like. You could do a single crochet, but just might be kind of tight. Be sure you do it a little bit looser. Um, This one's a good size. So I have some that are thicker. The one... Like this one, this is how big this one is. The one I showed yesterday. It's this big. So it's pretty good size. It's as big as my hand. <laughs> so anyway, um, so yeah, just have fun with them. You can do whatever stitch you like. But they're really easy, really fun. You use hardly any yarn. And they whip up very quickly. So if you want, once again, no pressure channel. Speaking of no pressure channel. This is already almost 15 minutes. My goodness. I have a surprise, aka as we call it around here, a surprise for everyone once I get to 500. I'm not trying to like push the subscribers by any means. Like I said, no pressure channel. If y'all want to subscribe, that's amazing. If you don't, that's fine. I totally understand. Just saying, once I get to 500, okay. So. Anyway, tell your friends. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's fine. But you don't have to. You can, but you don't have to. Okay, so once again, 
our beautiful blanket. A beautiful green with this green. Please check out Miss Angelia and her ever changing beautiful rug. I mean, it's just, it's so neat. So, I thank you guys so very much for watching. Like I said, everyone will be linked below. I hope you all have a wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe. I'll talk to you guys very soon.